Hello everyone, Phaser2 here, and welcome back to the Lads Podcast. This is episode 8 of season 1. Zero, season zero 2? After 1, it's the second one. It's, yeah. Only labeling as 1 because the other one wasn't named as a season. Right. So it's like season 0. But anyway, welcome back. Um, when we last left off, it was 2022, so yeah, we, to catch up on it, we did a whole New Year's thing. I'm doing this bit again for anyone at home. We restarted. I'm doing yeah, this bit again. Yeah, we restarted for some um, audio technicalities. Yeah, you know, but uh, anyway, so a whole fringe holiday called like New Year's or something happened. Uh, yeah, since last we recorded, I don't, I don't know much about it. So if it's so fringe, do you think that there is a New Year's Day cult? I think it's inevitable. There's at least like how many people are there? Eight. Eight people? Out of eight billion people, there's got to be a cult of just like five at, at most. At, at, least, at least. At least. Five. At least three to five. Maybe three, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, at least three, you know. Um, maybe they're in a bunker somewhere. Yeah, they're just living maybe out. Maybe they thought the world ended. Do you think the... The world ended back in 2012 for them? For them. Probably, yeah. yeah. They've just been, sus- like, they have a self-sustaining bunker that they've been living in since 2012. Or, y- you- or Y2K. Or since 2000. Yeah. 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 Well, technically 1999. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They probably went in, like, just before yeah. 99. And, and they probably have Prince 1999. Right. They probably don't even have Prince. Can you imagine they just came out, like, like... Today, in the modern era, and was like, whoa, what, Prince died? Or, like, any of that, like, yo, World Trade Center, where are you at? I don't know. <laughs> like, at the time, like, the world would change so much since then. Yeah, yeah. Really. No, no, like. They'd be so out of touch. Like, they come back up with, like, what happened to George W. Bush? Bush? Mm. They talk like. <laughs> they talk of like course. JFK. Of course. Yeah, what shows would have been popular in uh, um, uh, in 99? It's the Sopranos. Two, two don't quote me on that. Okay. I don't know what year the Sopranos came out. 2000, 2000 kids all... trying to know what 1999 <laughs> was like. I'll, look, I'll be the one that looks things up. Like, uh, can you pull that up, uh, Juno? Yeah. Uh, oh, shit. Should we address that? I suppose. Oh, uh, yeah. New name and pronouns. Uh, well, not new pronouns, but. Just name. Yeah, Juno. Juno. Is, we're just gonna leave that at that. Yeah, yeah, it really isn't that complicated. Yep, that's that's the name we're rolling so, with now. So, funnily enough, uh, what is it? Uh, Joe Rogan's podcast. Uh, they have yeah, a Jamie. They have a Jamie. That's why. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was like, I'm going to be the Jamie. That, but that's probably why we got all the extra hits. Because everyone was confusing us. Looking, yeah, yeah, they they were looking for uh, Joe Rogan's mm-hmm. podcast with the other Jamie dude. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I'll be the one that pulls things up. What was that? Ninety nine, nineties movies, nineties shows. Nineteen ninety nine shows that released in nineteen ninety nine. The Sopranos did release in nineteen ninety nine. Oh, you nailed it. Uh, I horribly. Uh, Beast Wars. Hell yeah, I love Beast. Um. <laughs> All that's coming up for me is like animated. Uh, Star Trek Voyager. Star uh, Trek? Okay. Stargate. Yeah, uh, Star I like Stargate. Have you seen Stargate? Uh, uh, I ha- I, when I was younger, I watched one of the series. Yeah. I, but I, I, every now and again, I watch it. It's on Netflix. Uh, uh, but um, there, was a, there was a single season of The Flash, and Bill and Ted had a series? Okay. Yeah, Bill and Ted had a series. They had a whole series. Yeah, so Futurama. Wow. I I just I learned of Stargate back in like high school. I had a computer science teacher who made a puzzle off of off of a Stargate episode. It's interesting. You didn't learn about to the not until high school. Yeah. Wow. I I think the first time I watched it, I would have been like elementary school. Yeah. It's interesting. I yeah. didn't. I never got into it though. Yeah. I I didn't. I don't even know what it's about besides like portal things. <laughs> portal things, yeah. Dude, it's like pretty much. Yeah. It's it's like a I guess you could compare it to Star Trek, but it's like I don't know. It, it's like instead of having a ship, they're just kind of like portals jumping from world to world, jumping I imagine world through world. portals yeah. that already exist like ancient alien technology. Yeah, in a way. 
I, I think so. I could be incredibly out of touch. As, as far as I, I understand, mean, as far as I understand, it's like the portals already existed. They connect yeah. to pre-existing portals. Yeah. Oh. So, so yeah. Um. So think of Portal like the game by Valve, except uh, not that at all. Except they're all pre-generated portals, like those maps where you don't have the portal gun. Yeah. When you have to like press a button to activate. Anyway, I suppose we should get on with the actual show. Yeah, we, we're done with our uh, pre-show banter. Get on. And uh, as usual, we have our guest. We have our guest, Rylan, over here with his uh, with his topic. And as per usual, we do force the guests unwillingly to go first. Oh, is it well, your well, You have um, no other choice. Uh, right now, my topic is uh, two people that Augusta glooped themselves. That was words. <laughs> Um, so basically, uh, back in February of 2023, uh, two workers working at the Mars uh, Wiggerly plant in Elizabethtown uh, fell into a vat of chocolate uh, while they were doing uh, maintenance on the chocolate tank. Oh, okay, my, my bad. Should I restart? Oh, God. No, go ahead. Um, of course, both of them were, were pretty, you know, uh, uh, I guess injured by the burning hot chocolate and had to be taken to the hospital, but they lived, luckily. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, um... They just, Which is why we can make jokes about them. Right, so they just fell into a vat of chocolate, like Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory style. I guess it's yeah. Luke. Uh, uh, OSHA did fine them $14,500. For having, what, an unsecured vat of chocolate? I guess so. <laughs> Not having safety nets over your vat of chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> the, the chocolate forklift certified. <laughs> the chocolate forklift is, that's funny. Oh. Th that's is crazy. The chocolate chocolate certified. <laughs> Oh, did it have you? a certificate to be chocolate? Yeah. Are you chocolate certified? I am sir? not. I am You're not. You're not chocolate certified. I'm oh, sorry, man. I work next to the <laughs> well, next mm -hmm. to the uh, chocolate vat as Taylor <laughs> dies of a, <laughs> of a cardiac arrest. Now, now tell me, were the um were they workers there? Yeah. yeah. They were workers. Okay. So they just. Okay, so they just fell into a vat of chocolate. At... Which, what maintenance were they performing on the chocolate vat while it was like partially full? And then, which would cause them to go over the top into the chocolate. I'm picturing them on like a comical like catwalk overlooking like huge vats yeah, yeah. of chocolate, and it was like apparently no guardrails because yeah, they like just a... fell over. Um, like I don't know, piping, <laughs> like electrical, I, like. Like, te maybe temperature regulation? I don't know. Well, it says they were working on the vat. On the vat itself. On, on the vat itself. While it was, while it was partially filled with chocolate. chocolate. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't, that seems like, that definitely seems like a fault on Mars, Mars's part. They probably, like, didn't want to empty it all the way, because then mm -hmm. it would, for some reason or another, take longer to get the plant back up and running mm -hmm. on a particular section of the factory. Right. So it, it was probably a production move. Which mm -hmm. Makes sense why Yosha would find them eighteen thousand dollars for that. Or fourteen thousand. Fourteen thousand five hundred. Inflating by eight thousand dollars, you know, nothing big. Uh, nothing big for Mars. Yeah, for Mars, it's nothing. I mean, uh, well, considering all the other things that are happening to them, like them having to rebrand their M and M's. Right. Uh, which uh. That's really funny. Can we talk about that for a second? About the uh, yeah, the green M and M, the green M and M lady, or or, or the M and M. Empty the chocolate is filled with green M and M. Yeah, or are we talking specifically about like the whole M and M spokesperson being put on hold and then being brought back? It, well, they I thought they stopped it entirely. No, they Maybe. brought him back like a week later. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, they yeah, just it was like cranked us for a little. Bit. Yeah, it was, oh, okay. Yeah, they brought yeah, in Maya Rudolph for like a day, and yeah. then they were like, "Oh, jokes on you, idiot." I, I still find it funny that that had to happen at all. Yeah. Like, so, what was it like? It, like, they did a news story? They ran a news story like, on Yeah, Tucker Carlson was, like, whining and, 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 like, pissing his pants, if you don't mind me saying, over the fact that the green m m lady wasn't hot anymore. They got rid of her boots. They got rid of her, her very sexy high boots, or her very... Very attractive boots. He yeah, really wanted yeah. to 
get it on with the green M and M lady. He liked those green M and M legs. He really what liked those say? legs. You know, yeah, and, and, but just, then the green M M&M and M has legs for days, apparently. Right, but then, but then M and M's or Mars decided to rebrand and yeah. and put her in some different shoes, yeah. and, and Tucker yeah. really didn't like that. It was like some sensible sneakers, some sensible, comfortable. It looked like sneakers, some, it looked like some Converse's, but you know, because well, it's brand. Is, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, he wasn't having that. He wasn't having that. He's like, no, we can't. What would they call it? Non-binary, miserable, woke candy. Or something like that. I'm like, I don't know. It's it's all just colored chocolate. It's like, chocolate. It is chocolate with a, like a, a hard shell that happens to be a color. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. And they were whining about it. And Mars was basically like, okay, if you're gonna whine about it like that, we'll just remove them entirely. Yeah. yeah and then they brought in Maya Rudolph to to be the new spokesman. Mm -hmm. Maya Rudolph. Maya, yeah. What does she even do? I I never heard. Comedy. Of Comedy? Comedy. Of some sort. Is she funny? I yeah, There's a lot of famous comedians that are spokespersons who I just don't find funny. Yeah, they're they it's like it's like they couldn't figure out. They were like, this person is good at spokespersoning, but we yes. can't figure out what they do for a job. Mm -hmm. So they just they just said, you know what? They're a comedian now. They're a comedian. They're a comic. I, I she's been on like SNL, and she's I think she's a regular on. I uh, watched a few of her skits. Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Um, but yeah, like a week after that, the Super Bowl commercials came on, and I was watching the TV, and they have like an an like a they had all of their traditional M and M spokes candies. Sorry, we call them spokes candies. Yes. Uh, up on a stage, and and about like they it was like they were in a press conference or like a, a red carpet type thing when they're like they had the audacity to put us on like. On the back burner, essentially, and they're like, "That's ridiculous," or like whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, it, "It's you want the spokes candies are right. Yeah. It is ridiculous. It's it's the whole big thing." Oh wait, Nothing. she was on the Good Place. What did you play on? The I good didn't watch place? the Good Place. I've actually seen that show. I mean, I watched a, an episode or two. I heard it was good. Um, but yeah, yeah, quite the. But, uh, Quite the yeah, interesting yeah, story. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I've probably gotten a few of the details wrong. You might be overlooking a few things. I haven't followed yeah. it. I just find it ridiculous that happened. Yeah, it's... She oh, was yeah. Jen for the week. In the Good Place. Any Good Place fans out there? Any Good Place fans who, in the chat? I can't remember who, who, this who show Jen was. Any Jen stands in the... In yeah, the God forbid we did the show live. Imagine. I would love to. I would love to do the show live. We'd have, like, two viewers commenting, you go, or... One commenting, who, where am I? She was in Big Hero 6. Really? Yeah. Yes. Did she play in Big Hero 6? Uh, let me I love that movie. Oh, she oh, oh God, God, she's in Big Mouth. Oh, no. Uh, she must I'm have, out. <laughs> she must have played, she must have played the, uh... God. Now, now I can't remember that movie. Really? That's one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, let's see, we had a bubblegum lady. It, we had she, a motorcycle lady. I wonder, if, she's probably a motorcycle lady. Yeah, nope. or maybe a background she's not character. A lady. She is Cass. Aunt Cass. Aunt Cass. Oh, Aunt Cass. Oh. Uh, real. I hear it. I can hear that. I can hear that. Okay. Okay. That's not bad. That's a that's a goat character. Yeah, good yeah. character. Good. Anyway, now that we're done talking about something that's apparently political. Apparently, for whatever reason, can't. Actually. Let's let's keep on it. This is DC, uh, because this this is funny. This is funny yeah, stuff. I um, the Her when Hershey's had a candy bar called Hershey. Oh, yeah. Have you seen I this? Yeah. Out of that came another a rival company, a rival chocolate company out of the woodworks called Jeremy's Chocolate. I think it's called Jeremy's Chocolate or something like that. They're releasing two different candy bars: he, him, and she, her, and. I it's see. supposed to be anti woke candy, um, and it's I just don't know. And it's just chocolate. And here's the thing with the Hershey thing: it was just, it was just a new wrapper on the Hershey. Mm -hmm. And it was it for was like a... International Women's Day. Yeah, it was... Was... I didn't even see that one. Oh yeah, they had a, a. I think the big stink that they were having on it was the Canadian release had the trans flag on it. Oh no! Uh, yeah. Oh no! Yeah, is right. Too woke. Too woke. Too woke. Too woke for that. Changed a wrapper. They changed a single, like, yeah, the rapper had a trans flag on it. Oh, my, oh, my God, the end of the world. Jesus. Um, but, yeah, so they released 
they, there's this very there's like one commercial of them introducing this candy and he goes we have two bar we have two types she her and he him one of them has nuts and if you need me to tell you which one is which get out of here this candy's not for you it's like very yeah it seems it's very it seems like it seems like very top. uh something i would see on uh, a particular news site yeah uh, uh, along with a uh a vitamin brand yes uh, exactly i don't even, i i'm not going to buy it cuz from what i've seen it's overpriced um, i can imagine and second it's probably just chocolate yeah it's just, now here's a question. Do you think they, you know that chocolate factory that I exploded in Reading like a couple of weeks last, like last week? I, pro- I probably heard about it. Two weeks ago. I, two weeks I think. Ago. Anyway, uh, a chocolate factory exploded. So, so what do you do? You think that that's the chocolate factory being woke is what caused it to explode? Absolutely. It, it, yeah. Absolutely. You know what? Yeah, I agree. I I agree with that. Yes, yes. There's too many wokes plural there's a woke every person is awoke do i need to break out the jordan b you see this company it just went too woke i, I need to warm up the woke mob it was the woke mob it was the woke what? mob i need to like you know how like for voice acting characters have like lines where yeah. you repeat like for me it's when i do shafid it's i'm shafid and i like cheese yes i need one for jordan peterson yeah there's something about like Oh, what's woke, that thing he woke said? Moralists. Woke moralists. Up yours, woke moralists. Let's see who cancels who. Indeed, uh, uh, there were two girls, but because of the ravages of socialism, they were forced to u- use only one cup. I hope none of our viewers are too <laughs> young to get to uh to get uh, that one. Yeah, we're we're about we're about ten minutes in, so really after that YouTube is only ten minutes. Oh, oh, oh okay, yeah. Okay, um, so, so yeah, after yeah. that I could say whatever I want. Don't. <laughs> it's still a family. Excuse you. It's still a family friendly channel. I think. Oh. Is it family friendly? Um, there was no explicit tag on the podcast. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can change that really quick. Let's I not. have done a Let's good not. job in not cursing <laughs> this entire time. Yeah, but you've been you've been doing an amazing job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do we get a like clap audio like? Woo. I'd love to edit this one day. I would love to be an editor and put in all those. Clap. It'd be yeah. a pain in the ass, I'm sure. I'm sure editing is rough. I mean, but... I can show you some free software. We, we can do that after. That sounds fun. Um, where I were mean, we? I use, I use Vegas. I use Sony mm-hmm. Vegas, but but yeah, Jordan Peterson would definitely think that 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 explosion exploding uh chocolate factory. Yeah, that was absolutely 100 percent the woke mob. The woke mob. They did it. Yeah, they did it. 100 percent. Absolutely. Uh. Like one day we're we're gonna we're gonna get sued just because yes. of all the shit we talk on everybody. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna get sue us for like defamation. Yep, defamation lawsuit. Right on. Definitely, on definitely. For because of that, we must say we don't genuinely believe that. Of oh yeah, not. of course. Like not. I I I try to play it as deadpan. I, yeah. I don't genuinely believe there's like the woke mob destroyed the the chocolate factory. Like no. It's, oh oh no, I I meant by like. Oh, oh, he's going to. Give me $14,500 so I can pay back Mars, please. Yes, exactly. Obviously. Mm. Yeah, they're going to sue us over, like, slander. Yeah, for legal purposes, this is a joke. Yeah, everything we say is a joke, too. Yes. Every single thing. Yes. Everything. Everything. I don't, I don't actually, know what... I, I'm not even a real person. We're, we're um, chat GPT yeah, we're, creations. We're, we're, yeah, we're chat GPT. We're, like, we're made by chat like, GPT. Like, um, there was, like... You ever watch those videos like Donald Trump and like and Biden playing Minecraft together? Yeah. We're that. Yeah, yeah, that's that. Is, we're that. We're, yeah, none, none of this is real. I'm not real. You're not real. This I'm, is I'm all about as AI as Will Smith. Right. But, but did you know that Will Smith died ten years ago? I did know that. And and, and you I know mean, like and and the whole Oscar thing that was like yeah that was just, fake. Just, 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 no, it was just a glitch in the robot. You know, he he got I, he yeah, yeah, just yeah. got mad for some reason. He went off the rails. Yeah, yeah. defied programming. They had to shut him down. Yeah, they yeah they defied. They, they didn't think it's how to put him back and put on put him on the charge. Right, right. Put him back in the box. Right. Mm-hmm. That's why you haven't seen him since yeah, then. Yeah, you haven't. Back for warranty repairs. Right. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So anyway, Will Smith's a robot now. Which I again, robot for, for legal purposes is a joke. Yeah. This is all just a reality of your own making, and uh, yep. we decided that we are not making any reality anymore. Nope, nope. You, the audience, the one viewer that we have, you are a Boltzmann brain. We're not yeah. real. 
this? Nope. Nope. It's all simulation. Yep. Simulation two. Yep. Okay <laughs> then. Now they're okay. Segment's <laughs> over. So, yeah, for the for the ladies and gentlemen and others at home. Mm. Um they're both looking at me right now. Yeah, we're just sort of that they're, topic's they're over. They're waiting for me to do something. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Tell tell your story. Tell one of you. Tell your little little, little I'll, I'll stories. I'll go. I'll go. Yeah, 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 tell tell, tell your little stories story. about your little yeah. friends or going outside. Oh, right? um, um, I'm not doing. <laughs> I won't even jokingly entertain that. Oh, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I got an article here. I mean, I I'm not reading the article to you, but I have an article from where did I? Do you want to link it in the description? Or um, I might. Whatever. Okay. It was Business Insider. Remember. It's something like that. Hang on. Come on, recognize the picture. It was, uh, I should have these up and ready. It was from Inverse. Oh, Inverse. Inverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Inverse. I don't know anything about them um, at all. I just found it. Like, my phone just recommended me an article. I was like, oh, this looks fun. So it may or may not be true. It may or may not be true. That is true. Yeah. Um, What you said it, is true. Not just a tweet is from a verified account. Legacy verified account may or may not be notable. Right. Um, so what I bring to you today is a supposedly revolutionary new jet propulsion or rocket propulsion uh, engine called the IVO Quantum Drive. Ooh. Sounds cool, doesn't it? You yeah. throw the word quantum in there, you know it's, it's going to get clicked. Yeah, you do. That, if you throw the word quantum into anything, it's automatically better than a not quantum. Yeah, if it was just an IVO drive, first of all, IVO is the name of the company, first of all, I might add. IVO Limited, it seems. Um, so it's, if, if it were just that, it would be just IVO drive, which means it's this company's drive. They own it. Um, but regardless, it purports to be an all-electric propulsion system for satellites, or at least that's its current uh, usage. It's, it's one it's test. It's electric. It's an all-electric propulsion system. I will explain more because that is now to some of you who may know how rockets work, you need fuel to do the go uppy. Yeah, yeah. To get off the ground, you need fuel, and this one purports it doesn't need any, it doesn't need any propellant or anything. So what's it used to go up in the sky? We'll get there. Magic. Yes, oh. the magic of quantum science. Like I said, throw quantum on it; it makes sense. Um, it's supposedly or er, it has a launch date of June tenth, twenty twenty three. It's coming up a few months from now, so stay tuned. It might be something big. I don't know. Um, but it's built by a North Dakota-based wireless power company. Like I said, it's called IVO. Um, and it relies on an alternative theory to inertia. Ooh. I like how I'm Wait, playing this. Uh, alternative like theory to inertia. I know. It's like. It's out there. It's out there. All right. It's out there. All right. Um, here, I might as well skip straight to the what that is. This alternative theory of inertia is called quantized inertia. Oh, uh, all right. Have you heard of it? Vaguely. All right. it's, it's, it, it was proposed in 2007, so it's relatively new, by uh, one Mike McCulloch um, mm -hmm. as an alternative to the previously held Lambda Cold Dark Matter model, or LCDM. I haven't heard of that one. Mm -hmm. I remember the other mm -hmm. one, though. This yeah. uh, model, the, the, um, the quantized inertia, I, I think, Yes, the quantized inertia tries to reconcile general relativity with quantum field theory to explain rotational curves of galaxies without dark matter. So basically, we currently have an explanation that galaxies interact with dark matter or some thing driving the expansion of the universe. Yeah. This theory proposes that you don't need that dark matter to explain it, that this quantized inertia theory should explain what's going on. Um... Isn't it something like all particles have a little bit of inertia in them, so they all just kind of drive over? I, I have some details in here. Uh, this is where I pull up the uh, screenshots, because I didn't write down any of the actual details. I have screenshots of these. Yeah. According to general relativity, there's an event horizon. I'm, I'm directly quoting. Here. According to general relativity, there is an event horizon in the universe where light cannot reach an object because cosmic acceleration exceeds the speed of light. Uh, a, I, I might have said exceeds. My yeah. bad. We, we understand. All right. A similar horizon is produced if an object accelerates in one direction, known as the Rindler horizon. Ooh, buzzy. I don't know what that is. Anything beyond this is outside the observable universe and cannot affect the object at the center of Riddler. Or Rindler. Ooh, Riddler. Ooh. 
according to quantum field theory, similar radiation is predicted uh, for an accelerating object. And this quantized inertia posits that that type of radiation is the source of inertia. Uh, yes. Um, so instead of one random unexplainable thing, mm -hmm. it's another random unexplainable thing. Exactly. Um, it, it claims that... Uh, let me read this here. It, it works if you've ever heard of an Alcubierre warp drive. It posits that it works similarly. Um, that sounds fictional. It, it sounds very it's fictional. hypothetical. Oh, it's hypothetical. Uh, hypothetical. So it's fictional, yes. Yes, yes. fictional. Uh, an Alcubierre warp drive essentially contracts space in front of it and expands it behind it. Yes. Um, they hyperdrive. Yes. Uh, FTL this travel. Yeah, this doesn't claim to be a hyperdrive. This claims that the information horizon is the thing that's expanding and contracting, yeah. not that space itself is uh, contracting or any such thing like that. Um, as far as I can see, um, essentially they what they have is a new form of engine that supposedly drop the game off for a moment. Um, should, air quotes, be able to get an object into space. It's supposed to be lighter, it's supposed to be cheaper, it's supposed to be more energy efficient. In fact, I have the numbers here. The more energy efficient and doesn't use propellant. Correct. Uh, there are, there are, uh, excuse me, there are legitimate oppositions to this, obviously, which I will point out because I have those. Uh, however, I'll, I will give you the specs that they have provided. A single IVO drive is supposed to emit 52 millinewtons of thrust from a single watt of energy. I see you is blinking that, quite heavily. I, yeah, I'm trying to think of how much that is. It seems like a lot. Typical ion engine produced 25 to 250 mega, uh, millinewtons from 1 to 7 kilowatts. So, it some quick math here. So, so it makes one newton into 1,000 so ish watts. You said 270 over 7 newtons? Hang on, we have a typical ion engine produces 25 to 250 millinewtons of force from 1 to 7 kilowatts. 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 Oh. So it's like so it's like 0 0.03 newtons millinewtons per watt. I would assume. Something like that. Something like that. Doing I, quick math here. Yeah, I don't know the math behind any of this, but it sounds yeah, so that's, too good to be true. That's like, what is that, 530 times more efficient? Probably something around that. That's <laughs> I don't know. a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's too big of a jump to for me to entertain. I don't know. Um, What we have, let's see, what were the... I'm going to pull up the opposition. Because there is. Okay, here, here's a good one. Uh, it's somewhere in the article towards the end. It says, in short, the concept violates the first law of thermodynamics. <laughs> um, of course. Which already, that's, you know, very telling of what we got going on here. Yeah. Um, what we, where was the... I mean, that's the thing about theories and science. Mm -hmm. They all, like, they kind of conflict with each other. Mm -hmm. Because even though it's a theory, like, it explains some things, but it doesn't explain others. It's an... A, a, a scientific theory is an explanation of observed phenomena, but it's an explanation of a very specific observed phenomena that may not account for other phenomena that might get right. in the way. Um, Which is why this violates thermodynamics. Yes, it's been it's been likened to a perpetual motion machine of sorts. Um, essentially, it's bunk, from what I can tell. So wow. why do they think they can make uh, a, a, a rocket powered out of nothing? Well, not nothing. By this year. Very low energy. Very low. By so it's a Tesla. It's, it's, it's a Nissan Leaf rocket. Sure. 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 I don't know why they think so. They I, said, I imagine by the time they finish this and get like a finished product, they'll be like, wait, but it doesn't actually output the <laughs> newtons that we said it would. Right, right, right. Um, output, like, what I see is that nothing. they have tested this theory on Earth. And they have tested this rocket. I don't know what that means. I don't know what the yield is. But they said that the final hurdle they have to cross is actually launching it into space. 
Yeah, so, well, so. I can make anything work on the ground. Right. Fine. Right. I can so, make an electric powered motor right. work on so. the ground. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm saying. June 10th, 2023. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I don't know. I might be misreading. I might be. But Are you sure it's not 2028? I'm, I'm very sure. I can, I can pull the article this back year. up. This, this year? year I'm, or at least I'm, I'm nearly certain. This year we'll see thermodynamic this violated. This year we will see. Uh, hang on. I have the article over here somewhere. Oop, oop. I added it to my homepage so I wouldn't forget it. Now I have to wait for it to load. Uh, just looking for a date. On June 10th, 2023, an all-electrical propulsion system for satellite, the idea of quantum drive, will fly to space for the first time. Yeah. It says... Yeah. It's probably not going to work. I don't... I don't... Shame. It's It's sad. So yeah, it would be cool. It would be you know, a cheap, lightweight, affordable, uh, affordable energy. Rocket. Yeah, yeah, genuinely affordable, affordable rocket. Yes, affordable for the companies producing these rockets. Yes, I mean the uh, what's it called the the Falcon rocket. That, That's what it's being that launched e on. That Elon makes. It is here. being launched on a Falcon. Hang on, I have it written down somewhere. Wait. Hold on, I thought it was supposed to get itself up into space. I don't know what they mean by this, but yes, it launches atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Wait a second. I don't know what they're Wait a getting minute. on about. Wait a second. On top? It's, I thought it was supposed to get it into space, not on top. It's so no clue what is, they're talking about. Is the electric rocket supposed to, the, the electric drive supposed to just propel them while they're in space and then they're just using... Rockets with propellant I have to get, no clue. get them out of orbit. Earth, Earth's orbit. The Maybe. Thing is, the thing is, we were just talking about how it was supposed to be like 500 times more efficient. Or right. Whatever, so why are we doing no this? No clue. I, I don't Maybe know. It, Maybe anyway. like the engineering's not there to get it actually out there. That much, like as much power as it can. Maybe. I don't it's know. It's just way more efficient, which I is no great clue. for satellites because satellites need to be able to avoid debris mm. and you have the issue with um satellites that you have to refuel every so often and when you get low on fuel you have to lower its orbit which yeah. can be an issue um so this proposes that you would no longer have that issue yeah so mm -hmm. so even even if it can't get itself into space it's mm -hmm. still a good technology mm -hmm. yeah yeah if it works if it works if it works if it works so we'll see fingers crossed i suppose it might need it Speaking of things working or not working, um, are you aware of the Linus Tech Tips? And yes, the yes I am. The Linus Media Group. For once, I understand the tech words you're saying. Yes. 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 So early one morning, March two twenty third, two thousand twenty three, Tech Media. I I called it a conglomerate in my write up. Mm -hmm. I, I guess it's a conglomerate. You can call it a conglomerate, I suppose. There's no fact-checking here. Yeah, tech media conglomerate Linus Media Group suffered a cyber attack that resulted in the termination of Linus Tech Tips and Tech Clicky YouTube channels. This attack, however, was not entirely difficult to pull off, and uh, and it just it's just difficult to defend against. Yeah, mm. which makes it interesting. This. Session hijacking is a hacking technique that involves stealing the login cookie of an account to gain access to the credentials that are already authenticated through the cookie. You don't need to bypass username. You don't need to log in, like, steal anyone's username or password or bypass their two-factor authentication because the cookie contains the login information and authenticates the account. So, so in order to do this, um, there's a couple things you need. You can either just physically retrieve it, because mm -hmm. that would be pulling it off the computer and putting it on your computer, and there you go. Right. But usually, since uh, not so many people are willing for you to, hey, could I real quick just steal your cookies thing, mm -hmm. uh, they do it through the use of malware. So, so the objective here is to just get this malware on the computer. And... And uh, 
it can be as small as a PDF, which is what they did here. It was a sponsor letter mm -hmm. thing, and somebody opened it, and boom, virus, virus on the system. Virus. Stole the, co stole the cookies, and they were able to gain access to the system. Hmm. So they, so from here, the threat actor put up a live stream of Elon Musk, Jack Dorsey, and a bunch of other crypto influencers, and they sat there and talked about crypto. While, uh, while on in the description in the chat, they they ran this crypto doubling scam where you would put your crypto in and you would get double back mm -hmm. for doing so. Right. Um, thanks to Minus Media Group's connections over at YouTube, um, uh, YouTube or Cloudflare and Google were able to flag the site as dangerous and terminate the accounts before damage could be done, or major damage could be done. According to reporting done by YouTuber Mental Outlaw, of approximately seven thousand dollars in Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, Doge, and USD tokens, mm. um was sent by Linus Media Group viewers, which, considering they have tens of millions of viewers, uh, not much. Mm. So, how do you defend against session hijacking? Well, first of all, for the amateur hour hackers that just download malware off of GitHub, you could just install an antivirus and signature-based detection will defend, defend you. However, just... This thing is entirely difficult to make malware on. You're just grabbing cookies out of a browser. Mm. Like, 90% of browsers are Chrome-based at this point. Right. So, so it, they were all in the same place, generally. So, so that doesn't really stop anything, because you can easily just make your own custom malware, and and especially for a target like Linus Media Group, you know, they're going to make some custom malware. So what you do need to do, if you're a business that has accounts like these are, that would be session hijack targets, um, you want to manage your access control to restrict the people who are allowed on these sites and what sites they can go to and that sort of thing so they can't download things that could be potentially dangerous. Right. And and then the other thing is just to have some good digital literacy. Know what Excuse, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> we am got quite the sore throat. Anyway. So so just promote digital literacy, you know, if you if you get sent a PDF file that's in a zip file mm. and you know, the grammar's a little weird and you try to open the PDF file and it just opens and closes real quick and nothing happens. Mm. Um, you know, you should be a little curious. Yeah. And definitely get your security team on it if you're working in a business. If you're by yourself, well Good luck. I, I yeah. You know, open up task manager maybe. Of course, uh, this thing's pretty easy to, pretty quick mm -hmm. to just send a cookie over to IT address. But um, you know, check your logs or something like that. Uh, just make sure you can uh, just be aware of it. And uh, if you do become aware of it, uh, just change your password mm. because this will invalidate the session for you. Um, and this does have some. Some responsibility on Google's part. Um, so, first of all, um, all of your security settings in your Google account can be changed without re-authenticating or changing your password. Right. Um, uh, and then just like other things on like YouTube, if you're running a YouTube channel, like you know, changing the account name because that's what they did. They changed the account name to Test Flight. Mm -hmm. Like. Uh, they changed the account name. Um, they were deleting videos. They were, yeah, they they were deleting videos. They were doing all all these things that shouldn't be doable without mm -hmm. authenticating and like other things like uh, managing account ownership and other things like all these things should and just like maybe deleting one video you don't want to see. 
Mm -hmm. because if you're deleting 10 or 100, right. like, you should have to re-authenticate. So, yeah, a little bit a little bit on Google's part, but most of all, we can't we can't expect companies to be to behave good. Right. So it, it's important that we um, that we develop some good digital literacy and just be secure on the internet because you know nobody's gonna do it for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So a little bit of a soapbox kind of discussion here, but uh, it it's just. It shows that we should be aware of these kinds of attacks, mm -hmm. and just uh, yeah, yeah, uh, just be any, safe any, on the internet. Yeah, just be safe yeah. on the internet. Any additional? Because it can happen to you too. Yeah. Any additional comments? Yeah. So, did you talk about the part of why they renamed the channel to Tesla? Yeah, yeah. Why did they do that? They renamed the channel to Tesla. Um. I mean, I'm not entirely sure why, just because it's supposed to be Elon Musk giving away the money, I suppose. Okay. Um, and I guess it has some degree of credibility instead of just naming it random numbers or something like mm -hmm. that. Or just keeping it plain the tech desk and wouldn't put yeah. Elon Musk's crypto scam up. Right. Yeah, so... Yeah, so those are my guesses, at least. Okay. Good. Hands down, like, like, hands down, if LMG wasn't as big as they are, they wouldn't have gotten this help. It would have taken too long. Because mm -hmm. this is happening to other people. But, you know, because LMG is a small to medium company, and they are a large presence on Google, or not Google, YouTube, Um, yeah, they get a lot of money. Right. So, they, yeah, Google was able to terminate the accounts in, let's see, the attack launched, like, I want to say early, early, yeah, like I said, early uh, March 23rd, so it was like, you know, 1 a.m., something like that. Mm. Mm. So, so, yeah, that, you know, if it wasn't for Google and Cloudflare to be able to kind of put a stop to this by marking the site as bad and all that, so... They did do a good job, but I kind of wish they were a little more proactive with their actual security practices. Right. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Yep. That's all I have to. I don't know. I, I'm not one too knowledgeable on any sorts of that, so I don't yeah, have much to say. I I I'm only about to graduate with a cybersecurity degree. Right. Yeah. So I might have gotten a little bit nerd there, but for people who know. Is I'm sure they had a field day. Yeah. 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 All right. So, how, how long have we been? Um, it's it's probably not that. I don't minutes. feel like it's 45 minutes. Really? Already? Yeah, but we got 15 minutes in the car. Yeah, that's true. So, let's blaze through. I have questions. Okay. As is custom. <laughs> our guest. Our guest. Oh. Have you a question? Well, do, you, do you have a question? Hmm. I have, I have a question. question. What is your question? What is your question? What do you think human flavored chocolate would taste like? Human. 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 Well, I'm kidding. Human taste? Well, that's, that's the question. I've heard human like... meat when cooked tastes like veal. Uh, I've never had veal. Neither I'm have I. I'm too broke to have veal. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard two things. Mm. So, first, I heard it on. Um, I think this was like Animal Planet. It was like man. Okay. Yeah, it was like. Bear Grylls. Man, the most dangerous of them all. It was, it was like Bear Grylls, and he was talking about, they, they call it the long lamb, because it tastes like lamb. Oh. And they're long. Okay. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, he was like some wherever, other okay. side of the globe. and. So we can deduce that human tastes like other animal meat. It just tastes like... Yeah, Adam. and the, but the thing is, I've also heard on Joe Rogan that it tastes like pork. Who was it who said that? That sounds. I think I've heard that. Uh, Joe Rogan. It's Joe Rogan show. said that. Yeah. He's Not any of his guests. He said that. He said that. Okay. Tastes like pork. Yeah. Now so, pork, I do know what that tastes like. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I do like. Pork. Yeah. So it's either lamb or pork. It tastes like one of those meatier animals that have meat. According to cannibals, I am not. According. A yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. 
Yikes. I'm gonna... Oh, not me. I have a kid of ribbons. Oh, oh well, I have kids, too. <laughs> Oh, listen, I, I Fallout Three reference. Yeah. Yes. That, that, listen, I, I, I do not suffer from insanity. I enjoy every minute of it. <laughs> like I don't have a drinking problem. I quite enjoy it, actually. <laughs> I have a drinking solution. The only um, a drinking problem is you can't handle it. Right. But yeah, yeah. it's human flavored chocolate. Yeah, it tastes like human, and human tastes like meat, and. I don't think meat flavored chocolate sell that well. No, it wouldn't. I'd buy it once and then throw up. Yeah, because it's if it tastes like human meat chocolate. Yeah. Oh, meat in my chocolate. I I have to try it now. I'm gonna next time I have like pork chop. I'm gonna put chocolate syrup in it. See what oh, happens. No. Pork chop. Yeah, I'll go get that pork chop. Cut off. Cut me off a slice and put some. Douse that bad boy in some uh, in some uh, chocolate <laughs> syrup. I think I have some syrup. frozen. Yes. Uh, um, con uh, country fried steak. We're not doing some this banquet here. banquet country fried steak. <laughs> Great. You have chocolate syrup, though. I do. I actually have the uh, double double thickness Sunday syrup. Extra sweet, extra chocolatey. I see. And some caramel. Mm. I see. It's something I'm gonna have to try someday. Uh, I'm I'm somehow gonna be forced to eat country fried steak at with. Covered in chocolate, aren't I? I imagine you don't have it to. Be the, you don't have to. We'll, we'll just do like like a quarter of it. Yeah, not a whole thing. Right. I just want like thing. I'll eat the rest. I want like a bite size covered. Yeah. Just enough for chocolate. one bite. Get it. Work yeah. it around the mouth. Covered. Mm -hmm. Get that those flavors. The evolution. Yeah, 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 yeah. Evolution of the flavors. No. Uh -huh. However, you know, unfortunately, I have a question. What's your question? If you could pick any celebrity to be your best friend, who'd you pick? Give me a moment. That one's good. Any celebrity? Does this count as like? Does this include internet celebrities or like? Yeah, it can be internet. Celebrities. Does this does this include micro celebrities? Niche. What is internet? What is a micro celebrity? Is it like people on the internet who have like a following? I mean, I suppose. I won't count. There's no one. I yeah, get. like here's the thing. No one's gonna relate to it. Right. If you, if you can't. Right. Like, right. If it's someone you've never heard of. Right. I don't know, does, like, Stanzi Potenza account as, like, a micro-celebrity? I mean, I'm not really up on this. I guess this is a bad question for me to ask. No, no, it's good, because, no, it's because I took it to a, you said celebrity as in, I'm assuming someone most people know, like, Robert Downey Jr., or, yeah. like, or the like. Um, yeah. One, like, Hollywood celebrity. Yeah, or, like, sure. singer, sure. or yeah. artist. Um, yeah, I'll have to think about that one. Um, my answer will probably be someone from Doctor Who, um, but it might not be one of the Doctors. I don't know. Uh, Rylan, do you want to take this one while I think about it? What, what, what am I supposed to be doing? Uh, the question that Taylor has posited is if if you could be best friends with one celebrity, who would that celebrity be? Definitely. Definitely the green M&M. So I could steal his Taco Carlson's bitch. And oh. That's a good one. I did such a... Oh my god. Like, we have ten minutes left. And and I, I, I cursed. Oh wow, you held up so good. I... Another clap at it right here, like... Oh, oh my god. Okay, well, I'm gonna steal Tucker Carlson's uh, fantasy wife. Right? You're gonna be steal Tucker Carlson. Because yeah. he loves the green M&M yeah. yeah. So so I'm going to use the green M&M, right, to lure him into, like, a Dodge Ram 1500 van, right? And then and then drive that van to the nearest cliff and then send him over the cliff like uh, Mr. Peanut did to himself. Right. Before Baby Peanut was born, right? You're going to so, birth baby Tucker Carlson. As his name will be. Jeffrey. So, so. Jeffrey Carlson. So we're not killing, we're reincarnating. We're giving him a fresh start. We're we're saying we're saying Tucker Carlson needs to start over. This is just like that one episode of Doctor Who. Yeah, so we're so we're not yeah, we're just to be clear, we're not plotting to kill Tucker Carlson. No. Planning on reincarnating him. Starting him not, anew. Not optionally. No. He doesn't have a choice in the matter, but he's being reincarnated. He'll thank us for it in the end. But he's not dying, okay? He's not, no. It's a it's a rebirth. The rebirth, rebirth. No, a new life. Yeah. And it's for his own good. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. 
I still, in that whole time, I was too caught up in the bit to actually think of a, a celeb Jake. Jeez, that was a good one. How am I going to top that? Oh, uh, no. Honestly, whoever, whoever I'm going to pick, they gotta be, they got to be rich, right? Have you not thought about your answer yet? You know, I had an idea, and mm-hmm. then I forgot. Oh, okay. I'd forgone. But whoever it is, they're going to be rich. You know what? I want to be friends with Mr. Beast. Of course. Now, he wouldn't give me any money, but he's just cool. Yeah? He's a cool guy, nice yeah. and polite philanthropist and all i can be in his videos yeah uh, i, I want to be best friends with mr beast i guess in the similar vein the only person that's really coming to mind is markiplier markiplier would he's just such a choice. friendly he's a friendly guy yeah he's just he's he's nice he's funny although oh, oh, there's my there's my email to from uh mr beast there it is right there yeah. whoa my phone just went off hang on is that is that mark fishbach right there no way it is we got the we got a text in the same group chat. We did. Um, yeah. Uh, Markiplier. That's my final answer. So not someone from Doctor Who. Okay. So. So we got we got Markiplier, Mr. Beast, and, and the Green M and M. I like these answers. Yeah, is that like our squad? We're all gonna go if, out, and there's gonna be Mr. Beast, Markiplier, Green M M&M. and M. With the Green M M&M and M answer, does that include fictional characters? Then does that open it up to widely known fictional characters? Because I'd like to change my answer if so. I suppose. Go go ahead. We got, we got any of the Owl House fans out there? <laughs> the collector from the Owl House. That would be my final answer. I yeah. love the little Scrunkly so much. The Scrunkly. The Scrunkly. You've seen my stories. You know what I'm talking. Uh, y- your stories are unhinged. You're right. You're right. Wait, where were these? On Instagram. Instagram. Oh, Instagram. Yeah, my yes, stories are on unhinged. Instagram. Off the rails. Yeah. Anyway, we're in a, we're in a little over time. Yeah, uh, let me get through mine. Mine should be quick. I have an answer for mine, so. Yes, rapid fire. I have a question. Yes. That's not the answer. I have a question. No. <laughs> okay, then. Okay. okay, fine. I have a question. What's the best prank you've ever been part of? Mm. I've got a good one if no one else has. I never really pranked anybody. I have. That's like something that's like not in life. That's not in my life. That's fair. But I have a decent answer that might or might not count as a prank. Yeah. It was like impromptu. Yeah, sure. I was at a dinner party with a couple friends like two years ago. And we were talking about, I don't even remember how we got in conversation. We were talking about like, Horrible atrocities we've committed, right? Uh, and we're going around the table like I've committed various war crimes in like Venezuela. I've I've done I I've nuked X and X countries, and then one of my buddies says I committed premarital handholding. Me and my buddy from across the table, we look at each other and we go, "Well, everyone, it's been great. Ah, we had a good time." And we start shaking hands and we're like, "Ah, I'm sorry, we gotta go." And we go out, get in the car, and we leave. And we just left. <laughs> we did come back. That's a good one. But we just left. And yeah, that was the, probably the best prank I've ever been part of. Because we didn't plan it. We just looked at each other and we knew that's what's happening. And yeah. they, just, they just slap your knee and go, well, I suppose. Yeah, I was like, well, everyone, uh, it's been great. Uh, the dinner was good. Thank you to the person who made the dinner. Uh, my compliments to the chef, of course, because it was genuine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I was like, well, it's been fun. Uh, we got to go, however. Um, I, we shook everyone's hand, but the one who said premier all the hand. We, yeah. we just sort of like, thank you, thank you, it's been good. Uh, and then just looked at him like, mm. <laughs> great one. That, yeah. That, yeah, that's a good prank. Yeah, I quite enjoyed that one. And yeah. then, yeah, we just left. Um, but, but like I said, we did come back. Um, I, I guess a small prank I've mm-hmm. done um, is just. Oh, jeez. No, I can't think of it. I had it in my head. Oh, I was there for a moment. Mad. Um. I, I feel like work has a lot of them where it's like there's opportunity. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. That, that reminds me. me. Okay. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. Now, now, of course, I was the victim in this. Oh, okay. Because I'm easily bullyable like that. Um. So basically, what happened was one of my coworkers. So so we make coffee out, right? Mm-hmm. Like we have the big coffee pots. Yes. And when you make the make the coffee, there's like these little little pucks that come out, mm-hmm. right? 
and then and so the little pucks of the ground across it, right? They right. They kind of look like brownies, right? Uh, okay. So okay. So my coworkers yeah. took a bowl. She took two of, two of the little coffee beans, mm-hmm. right? Made one look like it had a bite. Food sticking out with the chocolate syrup and caramel syrup on top of it. Okay. And and she goes, "Hey, you want some brownies?" I'm like, "Yeah." Why not? You know. Right, so I take a big honking spoonful of it, right? It was kind of falling apart, but I didn't think nothing of it because I'm dumb like that, uh-huh. right? So I take a big bite, and then for a second, I didn't realize what was in my mouth. I was like, damn, these are some horrible brownies, right? But then it caught on to me, oh, these are coffee grounds, right? So I spit them out, and yeah, I was like, and she's laughing. Well, that is a very silly prank. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it took me like two days to wash the coffee grounds out of my teeth. Oh, um, <laughs> get the taste out of my mouth. Mm-hmm. You know, right, that that, yeah. that lingers. It, it lingers. lingers. It lingers uh-huh. for a little. And like I said, not really any pranks. Um, yeah, I guess. See, I really can't think of any. Anyone where like like Rylands, where someone pulled one on you. I feel like not a lot of people want to mess with me because they think I'm mean. Oh, I'll I'll try to make sure to pull more <laughs> pranks on you. <laughs> yeah, great. <thanks. laughs> well, I mean, I did a. I don't know if this is a prank. It's more just like a recurring gag. But the same person that made Rylan eat her coffee grounds, um, I committed the cardinal sin of saying their name wrong. Oh. I said their name wrong. And uh, so now, since my name's Taylor, starts with a T, they just come up with anything. That starts with a T, and that's my name. I like that. That's a good bit. I had Tiffany. I've had Trampoline. I've had, let's see, what other one? Like Toaster. Toaster, yep. Um, Toffee. Not Toffee. Not Toffee. Well, I've given you Toffee. Oh, good. Write it down. I don't have a pen. Yeah, so... So not really a prank, but it's a funny bit. It's a funny bit. You see it in a lot of shows and stuff where they do that. Yes, it's fun. Yeah, that was, a, that was, that was a good one. Very, very quaint prank. I yeah, it's. Too. Yeah, it's got some uh, camaraderie to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Anyway, I think that's all we have today. Yeah, we're running. We're running very close to our uh, deadline here. Yes. We have things lined up after this. Yes. Uh, so thank you for coming to the show. If you enjoyed it. Um, Share, subscribe, like all of those, like do all the interaction, comment maybe. You might even want to comment sometimes. Yeah, maybe I. I sometimes read them. Just kidding. (laughs) I get zero comments, so I don't read any of them. I'll leave a comment. They don't exist. I will leave a comment. Oh well, thank you for leaving a comment. You're welcome. Pat myself on the back with my own comment. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) It's just the uh, the Obama (laughs) putting a medal on. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. It's very self congratulatory. Yes. Anyway. Yeah, thank you all for watching, mm-hmm. and we'll be back eventually with Sometime. another one. Yep. Whenever we... And hopefully not in 118 days, or however long it is. Something like that. 104 days until summer vacation. I'm gay! gay! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that one to go that way. But... What, what did you want me to say? I forgot the rest of the lyrics. <laughs> I don't even know what song you were singing. Beyond the Sea by Bobby Come. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm waiting for come. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You've been a great audience. Uh, it's been a good episode. Have a good day, everyone. See ya. Yeah.